Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I make videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. If that is something that you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. Go grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a glass of wine because today's video is going to be a long one. I have nine different bags that I purchased in 2022 and I wanted to share them with you guys. I am going to share with you guys one pro and one con from every single bag, but I will have individual videos linked down below in the description box of every single one of these bags just in case you guys have more questions and of course feel free to ask me any questions you may have down in the comment box below. The first bag that I purchased in 2022 was my YSL small, not small, my YSL camera bag. I opted for the, um, I don't know what this is. This is a cotton material. It's got the white and black stripes. I just felt like it gave the bag a little bit of something else, something different and something unique. Mine has the gold YSL on here. It does have a black leather lining all the way around. This bag is very, very lightweight. It's comfortable and it's very easy to use. The only con that I really have about this bag is I wish I would have gone with the leather version. I feel like I would have gotten a lot more use out of it if I would had. This pattern here doesn't really go with a lot of my outfits and so I don't grab it as often but I, when I am out and about for long periods of time this is the bag that I reach for. The next bag that I purchased in 2022 is my Valentino Roman stud bag. In my personal opinion, Valentino is very underrated. I absolutely love their line. I understand that not everybody's in love with the studs, but they do have bags without studs and they do have bags with maybe just one stud on there. And I think that their quality is top notch. The leather is very luxurious. They do suede interior. Their hardware never ever scratches on me. I own two of their bags and I've never had any issues at all with their hardware and they just feel higher quality than most of my other bags. I opted for mine in this beautiful warm brown color with this gold, um, hammered gold studs on there. At first I thought I made a mistake. I originally wanted the cool tone pink one, which I absolutely love as well. But I have to say this bag is quickly working its way up into my top five luxury handbags. I absolutely love it. I really don't have many cons or any cons to share with you guys. I highly recommend this bag if it's a bag that's on your wish list. The third bag that I bought in 2022 is my YSL Small Lulu. Now I had no intentions of buying this bag at the time that I purchased it. I was happy with my two previous purchases. But Saki on YouTube was selling this bag and she was selling it for a really good price. And so I decided to snatch it up and buy her. Now I haven't gotten a lot of use out of her. I just feel like she is the wrong colorway for me. And it's more of a shoulder bag style in my opinion. Wearing it cross body is a little bit, she's a little long for me and I'm five foot six for reference. So I don't tend to wear her cross body and I'm not a huge shoulder bag person. When I'm going out and I'm dressed nice, I really like, Sorry you guys, I have a hair right here. I really like a top handle bag, but if I'm going out shopping or something like that, then I usually do a crossbody bag, and this bag is more so a shoulder bag for me. Um, she is very nice, she's very practical. I get a, she's very easy to use, but I don't get a ton of use out of her. So I definitely recommend this bag if this is your style. There's really no cons that I could think of, but she's not necessarily top on my list. Next up is a bag that my husband got me for Mother's Day as a Mother's Day gift. And if you watch my channel at all, you know how I feel about this bag. I absolutely love this bag so much so that I want to get this bag in the Damier Aben print for the winter months. This is more of a summer months bag for me. I love the top handle. I love the look of it. I love the print on here. I feel like with the print, I can wear it very, very casually with jeans and a t-shirt, but with the top handle, I can wear it with my dresses as well. And I absolutely love that. I love the pink interior and the fact that it's a big open pocket. I can wear this bag crossbody, which is how I wear it when I'm dressed down. And I can wear it top handle, which is how I wear it when I'm dressed up. And I love the versatility of that. Now, I don't carry a ton on an everyday basis. I carry my wallet, my or my, um, my key clay, my card holder, my phone, my sunglasses, and maybe a lipstick and a chapstick. And that's pretty much all I carry. 
this bag is plenty big enough for that. I have heard from a few other YouTubers that they don't grab their corset bag very often. So if you guys own this bag and you don't grab it very often, please let us know down in the comments what your thoughts are on the bag and how come you don't grab it very often. Because for me, this bag is absolutely perfect. I love this bag so much and I have zero complaints about it. Next up is Balenciaga. And I know Balenciaga is going through some stuff right now. Um, if you guys have any comments about that, feel free to leave them down in the comment bo um, box below. But just please be respectful of everybody's opinions. I'm going to stay out of it. I'm not going to give my opinion unless, um, I don't know. I'm, for now, we're staying out of it. But this Balenciaga bag is not a win for me, I have to say. When I got this bag, I ordered it. I had a $700 gift card because when I purchased this bag, I got a $700 gift card with it for Saks Fifth Avenue. I was running out of time to use that gift card, so I had to use it and I chose to get this bag. Now, as soon as it came in and I felt it, I could tell it was very, very cheap. It was cheap quality. I've gotten bags that were three or $400 that felt better quality than this bag. This bag is starting to show a very minimal corner wear, but it is showing corner wear um, already. It started showing corner wear, I wanna say about four or five times after I used it. Um, it is a beautiful bag. I love the chain hardware. I love the Balenciaga. I wish it had a top handle. I feel like I would use it a lot more if it had a top handle, but unfortunately it doesn't have a top handle and it's more of a shoulder bag style because the chain is too short to wear cross body at least on me if you are sh uh, shorter or more petite than me then you can get away with wearing this cross body but i cannot um but i i love the look of it it just the quality isn't very good so this one unfortunately is going to be a miss for me in my 2022 luxury purchasing next up is this bag and this is another bag that i had no intentions of buying when i bought it I was eyeing this bag, I was doing my research, I was looking at bags, and I was kind of picking out which bag I wanted to save up for next. I do have to save up for my bags, guys. I'm not at a financial point where I can just run out and buy one. I save up for them for a while, and then I go and get them. Well, this particular bag, I had on my list of, I had about four or five of which ones I was going to choose for um, my next bag purchase. and. This one was probably third down, I wanna say, on my list. And I was talking to my husband about it and I was showing him pictures. Well, the very next day or two, this bag went on sale. 40% off, I believe, if I'm correct. Maybe it was 30% off. This bag retails for $24.90 and I got it for $1,700 plus tax. So you guys do the math. Let me know what percentage off that was. But that made it so that I could go and purchase the bag right away. When I first got this bag, I thought maybe I made a mistake because I wasn't reaching for it. And I'm not really sure why I wasn't reaching for it because now I can't seem to put it down. I love this bag. I just did a review on it, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. I love the color of this. It's like a beautiful baby blue. My husband thinks it's green. It's not green. I don't think it's green. It's got the beautiful silver hardware, which I absolutely love. It does have an easy magnetic opening and closing, and then it's big enough to fit everything I need in there, plus more. I love the top handle. As you guys can probably tell by now, I am a top handle girl. If I'm dressing up, I want a top handle bag. And then it's got a crossbody strap as well, which is removable and adjustable so this bag has been a hit for me i absolutely love it if you guys are on the fence about the javinci antigona look on the resale market because you guys can find these bags for around a thousand dollars which is a really good price point in my opinion next up is my bottega veneta arco bag you guys this bag is super super special to me because i got this this bag for myself as a gift for hitting 1000 subscribers here on youtube so thank you guys so much for those of you who have subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and you like my content please subscribe down below it really really helps me out a ton um so that's why i bought this bag it is super special to me it's a huge milestone to hit hit here on youtube and I am so grateful that I was able to go out and purchase a bag. I did go to Louis Vuitton, to YSL, to Bottega Veneta, 
Um, I looked at Valentino bags. I looked at all the bags that are in my luxury mall closest to me. But this was the bag that stood out the most. I had my daughter with me and she actually decided that this was the one that I should get. I originally purchased the smaller version in a pink color and then I decided that that was not a good bag for me and I went back and I got the one that my daughter had recommended, which is this one. Now this is a very practical bag. It is a shoulder bag. It doesn't have many logos. I absolutely love the style of this bag. I love the pop of orange, but I do feel like I would use it more if it was a neutral or a cooler undertone bag. Unfortunately, at the time, they didn't have any cooler undertones. They had this bright orange. They had a, I wanna say like a sagey green color and then maybe black or something like that. None of them called to me besides this color, so I ended up getting this color which is beautiful, I just am not a warm tone girl. So this bag has been a hit and a miss for me. I, the color is a miss, but the style is definitely a hit, but I don't think this will be a bag that I'll ever get rid of. Home stretch, guys, we only have two more bags to go through. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a little white heart emoji down below so I know who's watching all the way to the end. So my next luxury bag purchase is actually something that I got myself for my birthday, and that is my Bottega Veneta Paddy Cassette bag. This is in the suede with the chain detail. So I actually sold my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, which was a similar color to this one, and I purchased this bag with that money. So I didn't actually spend any money. I just purchased this one instead. So this bag is... Uh, how do I word this? So when I purchased this bag, I knew it wasn't going to be an everyday bag. I knew it was heavy. I've went in store and tried this on. I did get this bag from Fashion File. It was my first ever purchase from Fashion File. Um, but because I knew it wasn't an everyday bag, I'm going to say it's a hit for me. Um, I went into it knowing the circumstances and what it was going to be for me. It's a heavy bag. It's really, really heavy. I am gonna do a review on this bag soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but it's a very heavy bag. The suede is very prone to getting dirty. Um, it's just not an everyday bag. But let me tell you, when you wear this bag out, it is definitely a statement. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful yellow gold. The beige matches with everything. I will say that this tends to not go with my cool tone outfits like I'm wearing today. It's definitely a warmer undertone bag. And in the summertime, it's going to be gorgeous with those summer colors. I really, really love this bag. It's just not an everyday bag. So I, this is a hit for me because I understood what type of a bag it would be in my collection. But if I thought that this was going to be an everyday bag, if I went into it purchasing it, this bag thinking I was gonna use it every day, then it would be a miss because it's definitely not an everyday bag for me. Okay, last but not least is actually a gift for my husband for my birthday. I had no idea that he was going to buy, my, buy me a bag. If I knew that, then I would have held off on buying myself a bag and bought myself a bag for Christmas instead. I have no intentions of buying myself a Christmas bag this year. That's why I'm filming this now because these are all the bags that I'm going to have for 2022. Um, but the bag that he got me is the Gucci Super Mini Dionysus, which is absolutely stunning. It has the little tiger heads here. It's this beautiful, taupey, cool tone color that I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite colors to wear. It's the color that I use on my eyes almost every day. It's just what I love. So it has a pop lock closure. This is a mini bag. It's very tiny. I have done a video on what fits inside of here and you guys will be surprised by what fits inside of here. It fits quite a bit. It's got this beautiful chain. I've had a few people ask me about my chain. The chain is not a super bright silver. It's a dull silver. It looks aged just like the little tiger heads look. Let's see if I can show you guys that. So it's not a super shiny silver. That is the design of it. That's how it's supposed to look. I really like that. I like things that are a little bit more grungy, a little bit more edgy. Um, I don't like things that look super pristine and super girly. So this is definitely my style in a bag. Now this is a mini bag, so I don't use it very often. I like to use this for date nights because it's really cute and beautiful. 
and I like to use it when I'm going shopping. So I'll just put my card holder, my key clay, chapstick or lipstick, either one, and um, my keys in here. And that's pretty much all that fits in here. And it works for me, it's very lightweight, it's very comfortable, it's very small, it doesn't get in the way. And I highly recommend this bag for a mini bag if you are in the market for a mini bag. What bags did you purchase in 2022 and which one is your favorite? I'm dying to know. Let's get the comments rolling down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, bye guys.